Hey everyone, this week saw Airbus announce that it was going to be ending production of its iconic A380, the double-decker aircraft with a price tag as large as its size, and its size matched only by the length of the security queue at the airport, as people look at their watches and ponder two questions to themselves. Number one, how is a bottle of water as dangerous as a machine gun next to it on the banned items list? Number two, if you had planned to take a machine gun on board, where were you planning on putting it anyway, because it certainly won't fit in the overhead locker? The aircraft has a price tag of around half a billion pounds depending on the layout of the interior you choose and whether you're including the bribery costs up front with the price tag as you smoke your hashish and offer to explore military upgrades with the crown prince as you both recline next to the pool. The aircraft is a cartoonishly impressive piece of engineering though, almost certainly dreamt up by the lead designer when his mother had given him too much chocolate and left him alone with the Legos one Saturday afternoon. Building a behemoth double story aircraft was for a long time in the book of proposed ideas along with a mile high skyscraper, a car that can do a thousand miles an hour and whatever project Boris Johnson next proposes when he wants some media attention. It is of course worrying for the workers in the southwest of England, who ironically live quite close to the road the A380, which goes to Torbay by the way, Uh, but to suggest that, as the BBC has, that the decision to cease production of the aircraft is somehow because of Brexit is akin to suggesting that choosing between a glass of Malbec and a glass of beer is a political one that is dependent upon whether you side with the Argentinian position on the Falkland Islands. The aircraft industry has for the last 10 years been in an ideological battle about whether the future profit in air travel is in the big routes, such as London to New York, or whether it's in the niche American markets such as Philadelphia to Dubrovnik which is starting next year and it seems that the industry is moving more towards the smaller carbon composite offerings from Boeing such as the 777X which will be offering the sort of energy saving costs that you normally only hear about when someone on the phone trying to scam you into getting one of those energy smart meters for your house. Trust me the only saving you're likely to make is those from when your friends stop inviting you down the pub after they get bored of you constantly checking your early gas usage when you're at home rather than getting your round in. Back to the aircraft though, overall the A380, it it comes across as a fantastic metaphor for the Airbus's beloved EU really. Initially an impressive idea on paper, but in reality oversized, too expensive, mostly for the benefit of Germany, especially for the benefit of those with an expense account, not in line with general consumer demand, starting to come to an end and, you know, I'm going to go out there, unlikely to be around in 20 years. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.